Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and today is my first video tutorial with audio. I'd like to show you how you can manage Creo Parametric 4.0 and I'd like to start from scratch. I will start the Creo Parametric. This is my first start of Creo Parametric. This program is without configuration or you can see that is a default configuration. The system automatically loads in the embedded window ptc.com, it's a company page and you can browse any 3D models directly for example from part community. This is embedded window and in this window you can run any web page. The close is really easy, you can push the button and the system automatically close the window. If you would like to open it one more time, over there in the left side, it's a show browser, or you can directly again to close it. On the left side is the folder browser. If you create any 3D model or assembly or drawing or anything, the system automatically change this folder browser to model tree. I will start to create a new 3D model. You can see that it is a 3D model like a solid. Over here is the base, description and name. The name is name of object what will be stored on your hard drive and common name is the description of this 3D model what you created. If you use the default template, the system automatically loads the template and my default template is like you can see here. Over here is the three datum planes and the coordinate systems. The at the top of the software Creo Parametric 4.0 is the ribbon and slowly and slowly I'd like to introduce you how you can manage, create new features, how you can manage the tabs or manage the icons or define some configurations. So you can go through the any tab and you can see the ribbon. It's a really similar to Outlook or Microsoft Office, so I think that you know this ribbon from another software. When I said this program is based right now on the default option, so if you select the file options, you can see here that you have the different options where you can really easy select and define what you want. So, for example, window setting. At the beginning of my video, you have seen that the system automatically expand browsing during the startup. I don't like this function because at the beginning I don't care about the, some information from the internet, so I, will, I don't want to say it. So I will confirm OK and the system automatically store this data to default config. I will show you and later how you can manage and define your custom configuration options. So right now you can see that my Creo is not start on full screen. So over here you can see some small gap. Right now I will close it and if I run Creo one more time the system automatically run and embedded window is closed so I like it I think that is really nice function the question is if it is possible to expand to full screen directly at the beginning or if you create a new file the system automatically open the window maximum best way if you go on the internet and directly on my web page so 4ksi.com and in the customization you can see a lot of configuration options most user options or PTC Creo Parametry 4.0 options so I have prepared for you full list of the configuration options and over here is really easy to found by control F function the maximized okay so maximized you can see here that is the two option open window maximized so yes, that's good. I'd like to copy this configuration option to my Creo Parameter 4.0 and 
I will select the file option and configuration editor. You can see here my default configuration options is in the direct installation file in config core. So I'd like to add these configuration options and in default, because it's a star there, is value no and I'd like to start it open maxim IDS. So if I come from OK and you can see here a few different icons in the config. The yellow icon means that it is not necessary to restart the Creo. But this icon you can see here it means that you can apply this configuration option but it will be works if you will restart Creo. So right now right now I will come from OK and I will store this file and I have to store it in configuration options to my to my default. So right now my Creo start from C user public document so I will come from OK and if I close it you can see that system right now will start with maximized. I like this function and you can check right now the configuration option one more time and you can see the system automatically run this config file RFC applic public documents config pro. What does it mean? Okay. It's mean that if I close it one more time to Creo and I will check the icon and properties, you can see here that system automatically start from C users public documents. If you create any folder and over there you place your custom config profile the system will run Creo directly from this folder or select it and load directly your custom file you can see here that right now the system starts the Creo parametric 4.0 without opening it embedded window, if you want to open it, it's no problem, you can run and select what you want, you can browse and specify your custom web page, that's good and you can browse the web page, you can download 3D models and open it directly in the Creo if you use the windshield, if you are windshield users, the system automatically opens the windshield directly in this embedded window and you can work with the workspace and, and so on, but this about windshield it's the different training 